real life review of the Tick Watch Pro 4G LTE. It is a nice watch. I wore it for a couple of days. My daily driver is a S3 Frontier. Had it for about two and a half years, and I was figuring it's time for a new watch. And I was wanting to go back to Android Wear, which on the Tick Watch Pro does work pretty flawlessly. The app that comes from Mobvoi, who is the company that makes the Tick Watch Pro, is quite limited. You'll see that in reviews. When it says limited, it is not kidding in the slightest. <clears throat> Excuse me. The uh, the app is just it's pretty pathetic, really. It, you're pretty well uh, relegated to installing the apps that you want on your watch, including watch faces, separately from the Play Store, which is fine. If you come from a Samsung environment, it's all done within you know that the Samsung app, whereas you know this one is all done in the Play Store. It is a nice watch. I have it charging currently. Uh, cord is rather short, by the way. Charging cord that is. Uh, let me see. Put my pin in. It makes you, if you set up a pin or Google Pay on it, it makes you set up a pin for whenever time it's taken off of your wrist, as far as I can tell. Um, it makes you um, <clears throat> enter your pin. Um, but as long as you're wearing it, it's never made me re-enter the pin, which is nice. Um, but nice little security feature there to, to protect your Google Pay. Uh, nice watch. Like I said, the uh, heart rate has... Heart rate sensor has two lights on, as you can see. Uh, it does not wireless charge, which is a downgrade from the S3 Frontier, which is considerably older. This wheel here is textured. Let's see, focus there. You can see it's textured, whereas this one's not. But the textured wheel does not actually do anything. It's odd. Um, anyway, battery life <clears throat> when using it as a smartwatch. Uh, as you can see, it does have the two screens, which is really neat. Uh, battery life, when you're actually using it for normal smartwatch functions, and, and even when you have this screen as the primary screen on, you'll get two days. That's what I got out of it, at least. Uh, without constant heart rate monitoring or with, it didn't make much of a difference, uh, if any, that I really was able to discern. But it didn't really tickle me at all. <clears throat> the Translate app on Google or the Android Wear is... It's not even comparably better than the one that's uh, for Tizen, and Tizen one doesn't even really work, to be honest. I was in Romania twice with my previous watch, and using Android Wear Translate function was just spot on. It's fantastic. If you're ever traveling abroad, strongly recommend having an Android Wear-based smartwatch, because the Translate function is superb, uh, and Tizen, it sucks. Anyway... It's a good watch if you don't already have you know a watch that's in my opinion better <clears throat> shy of the screen which is it's cool but it doesn't really add much battery life so you know what's the point i don't understand but anyway the if you're looking at this watch it's on sale right now uh, at the time of me speaking it's 203.95 i think on amazon steal that price really um i paid 235 for it or 239 i'm gonna return it as I ordered a Phoenix 5 Sapphire. So we'll see how that one is and see if it's any better, see if it's worth the 400 that it's on sale for right now. Anyways, before I return this, I want to kind of get a, you know, a little video of what I thought of it. It's a nice watch, really, honestly. If, you, if you're in need of an Android smartwatch, it's hard to go wrong with this one. But I already had one that I think is better. Anyways, see ya.